Hello everyone and welcome to Commitment to Service. I'm Sheena Robinson with your 411. And on today's show, we're with Make-A-Wish Foundation. We're going to see what they're up to. Stay tuned. The Make-A-Wish Foundation um, serves children who um, have serious illnesses. We provide their wishes to them and in so doing, we provide hope and joy and strength to them and to their families. It makes me feel good, you know, it lets me know that we're doing something right here and it's, uh, we're very honored to have Make-A-Wish to make this their home base facility for the uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation and I think it's something good that, it, that they're doing. I've always been a big fan of Make-A-Wish Foundation being an athlete. You know, we've been involved for so long with this foundation and, and just putting a smile on a kid's face means so much to us. And to be here down here at Atlantic Station at Cold Stone serving ice cream for a great cause, it's a lot of fun. One of the things we're doing is community service. Everywhere we go, we make sure we get we do our community service. And we've been lucky, lucky enough to be granted the opportunity to do this with uh, the, the various celebrities here today with Make-A-Wish Foundation. They've done so much to help the less fortunate and, and the disabled and everything. Without getting too biblical about it, the Bible says for to whom much is given, much is required. And I've been, you know, given a lot. So, you know, it's I just got to come out and do whatever I can. I am trying to serve ice cream to the people that are coming in. Some of the people, the Make-A-Wish kids are here and they're like requesting different ice creams and flavors. So hopefully I'm doing a good job. But I think it's an awesome cause and I'm just very thankful and honored that they allowed me to participate. Well, anybody who's been offered the opportunity to excel or do something should go back, get people, bring some joy to other people lives it's an obligation and I love it giving back to the community is very essential you know what I'm saying because when you give back then you get you know what I'm saying and that's what make the world go around I guess my favorite story would have to be um, Danielle who wanted to be a princess you know for her wish and you know she wanted to have macaroni and cheese and catfish at the ball <laughs> which made it a little different and then the coolest thing about it is that she wanted her first dance as a princess to be with her older brother who was 10 as you can see, we had a delicious time here today. Till next time, I'm Sheena Robinson with Commitment to Service, and that was your 411. Hi, this is Sophia with 411 The Show, giving you the exclusive on Fashion Auto 2008. Please stay tuned, because it's sure to be an incredible show. Haley, what was your involvement with Fashion Auto this year? Um, I helped a little bit with hair, just doing some styling and um, just kind of do whatever I can to get my hands dirty. Our role was basically just to get, his, get the word out as much as we can to the people around Atlanta to come to the event and to know more about the uh, You Can Make a Difference uh, organization that Don started a few years back. Hi guys, I'm standing right in front of the runway, Fashion Auto. It's going to be an amazing show. How do you think Fashion Auto 2008 is going to differ from the Fashion Autos in the past? I think it's definitely bigger and uh, more organized, I must say, and you know, it's awesome that people are getting more involved. Is this your first year of involvement in Fashion Auto? It is. This is my first year. I'm blessed to be asked to be in it, and uh, I, it's just going great. I understand it's for a good cause, correct? Yes, very good cause. Melanoma cancer is something dear to my heart, and um, definitely, I guess, dear to the people here. Well, anything you can do, don't think you're insignificant. Contribute, come out, support. Anything you can help, anything to help any type of cancer, whether it be breast cancer, melanoma, uh, any type of cancer, we can do all we can do by coming out and supporting this show. Well, there you have it, guys. It was an amazing show for a fantastic cause. Once again, I'm Sophia Moren signing off at 411 The Show Exclusive. Welcome back to another edition of Straight Balling with 411 The Show. My name is Denard, I'll be your host. Today, we're highlighting the outstanding Georgia Tech football team. Now, Coach, your team is currently 6-2, and two, and you average over 350 yards of total offense. Now, what is the key to your success of this season? Well, you know, I think the strength of our team so far has been our defensive front and the defense. We've, uh, you know, for the most part played well in, in every game and kept the score down. And uh, so it's, uh, you know, with two-thirds of the season gone, we've got areas that we can improve in, certainly. But... Uh, if you had to look for one area of strength, I'd say the defensive front. Now, Coach, you have a very young team. Now, who is the leader on and off the field? Well, it's, uh, you know, it's hard to say. I think the sophomore class is pretty talented. But, uh, you know, the leaders on the football team are still the seniors. I think, uh, you know, uh, Darrell Richard, and Michael Johnson, Vance Walker on defense. And on offense, we don't have as many seniors. Uh, 
you know, Andrew Gardner was elected captain. Uh, he and David Brown are really about the only seniors and A.J. Smith that have, that have played much. Now, Coach, you have a big game going on this weekend against Florida State. What have you done to prepare for this game? Well, we try to treat it just like any other game. And, uh, you know, practice has been the same to this point. And, you know, we'll put together a game plan and go out and try to do our best to execute it uh, as efficiently as we can. Now, for a game as big as this, Coach, what kind of pep talks have you gave the team? I think that's probably a little bit overrated. We don't uh, – we just talk about how important the game is. And, uh, you know, after we lost last week, you never want to lose two games in a row. So it's uh, – a big focus. Uh, we still got a lot of goals in front of us, so you know, just trying to get better every week. Any uh, rising stars out of the Georgia Tech football team? Oh, we've got some talented young guys, but uh, you know, we'll play that out as we as we come to it and, and see how it unfolds. But uh, we're excited about the depth we have and all the young guys on our team. You just received a glimpse of the Georgia Tech football team. Join us next week for another edition of Straight Balling on Four One One The Show.